Assalamualaikum class. Today we will discuss about the fish skeleton. In this lesson, we will study about the fish skull, backbone, and spine. Firstly, we should know about the skeletal system of fish. What is the skeletal system of fish? General features of fishes include fins, streamlined and scales and tails. But differences are highlighted under their skin. Hence classification is much easier based on the skeleton system. A variety of fishes is found in aquatic habitat. Some may be cartilaginous or bony fishes. The cartilaginous fishes are known as chondrichthyes and the bony fishes known as osteichthyes. Now, how does the skeletal system of fishes is made up of? The skeletal system of fishes is made up of thin and flexible cartilage or hard classified bones or bones. They are good swimmers and their body structure are designed accordingly. Now, let me discuss about the composition of fish skeletal system. Before discussing in detail, we should know that the body is divided into two types of skeletal system. Mostly the fish skeletal system is made up of bone or cartilage. There are two different skeletal types, exoskeleton and endoskeleton. Exoskeleton is an outer shell of an organism, while the endoskeleton is an inner shell of an organism. In this picture, you can see a generalized bony fish skeleton. In the head region of this fish, you can see the bones of operculum, hyomandibula, cranium, Premaxilla, premaxilla bone present in jaw, dentary, maxilla, quadrate bones, branchiostegal rays, and pelvic bones. In the abdomen region, you can see the main part of the abdomen region is the vertebrae. And in the lower side, you can see the ribs, the cilia, scapula and pectoral arch while in the tail or in the caudal fin you can see the bones of hyperales and urostyle is present this is an overview of the fish skeletal system now i will give you a brief introduction about the fish skeletal system because the term fish includes such a diverse array of animals, it is difficult to talk in a general way about an average fish. Most fish are active swimmers and the shape of their skeleton reflects the shape of their body, which in most cases is designed to allow them to move easily through the water they live in. Thus, the skeleton of an average bony fish looks like an arrow where the skull represents the arrowhead, the backbone or spine, the arrow's shaft and the tail represent the feathers. In three parts, the whole body is divided. A skull represents the arrowhead, backbone or spine the arrow shaft and the tail, the feathers. If we add a few barbs to our arrow to represent the spines that run along the spine, we have a fairly good idea of the basic fish skeleton. Here is a diagram of the all detailed data I have told you. You can see in the same manner we have designed a fish skeleton. The head part, the vertebral column and the tail part all are representing like an arrow shape. 
this was the skeleton of a modern bony fish and even the arrow represent the end point of a long period of evolution the skeleton of the first fish was probably like the skeleton of a modern hagfish which is little more than an amalgamation of pieces of cartilage the skull of a lamprey is a single cartilaginous row with a few lobes and spines while the spine is a simple sheath of cartilage surrounding the notochord there is also a simple cage of cartilage to support the front most part of the viscera the skeleton of a hagfish is even simpler shark and rays have a more complex skeletal system which for the most part it is still only cartilage and not bone the skull however is more complex than that of the lamprey and it is called a condocranium the condocranium surrounds the brain and supports the sense organs attached to the skull there are the jaw cartilages these jaw cartilages are known as plateau quadrate plateau quadrate cartilages are present on the upper side while the other are macul cartilage and these macul cartilages are present on the lower side there are also branchial cartilages these cartilages supporting the gills as fishes evolved the number of bones involved in the head capsule increased and their arrangement become more and more complex as nature experimented with different solutions to the problems of life in the sea as can be seen in the image to the right in the primitive bony fishes the individual bones are larger and the amount of open space is restricted also many of the bones are in different places or have different shapes look particularly at the maxilla and the premaxilla in this picture and in the one below i will show you in the primitive red fin fish the premaxilla is small not movable and carries only a few front teeth most of the teeth are on maxilla itself in comparison in the more highly evolved sometimes called derived reef in fish the premaxilla has taken over job of being the upper jaw bone and it is now larger much more movable and carries most if not all the teeth the maxilla has taken on the sportive role you should note that all these structural changes accompany or allow a functional change in the way the jaws work now let me discuss about the composition of fish skeletal system before discussing in detail we should know that the body is divided into two type of skeletal system mostly the fish skeletal system is made up of bone or cartilage there are two different skeletal types exoskeleton and endoskeleton exoskeleton is an outer shell of an organism while the endoskeleton is an inner shell of an organism in this picture as can be seen from the image present on the seven number slide and more fully from the image to the right the skull of a bony fish is a puzzle of extreme complexity with many moving parts in this collection of small interlocked bones the fishes strike an ecological balance between strength and lightness 
द लाइट वेट रिक्वायरमेंट इज रियल बिकॉज बोन बींग डेंसर देन वॉटर रिक्वायर मसल टू मूव द हैवियर अ फिश कैरेटन इज अ मोर स्लोली इट मूव बोथ वेन स्केपिंग अ लार्जर एनिमी एंड वेन कैचिंग अ स्मॉलर प्रे In this picture you can see a generalized representation of the skull of a ray finned fish There are many sizes of bones present some are small and some are large bones and they have definitely a different function The earlier species went in for heavy armor which made them slow moving and restricted them to living only on the bottom of the sea the picture below shows an artist impression of what a Cam- cambrian fish of the genus hemicyclespis may have looked like whatever the colors of the fish were in real life isn't really important what we can easily see here and what is known from the fossil record is that hemicyclespis had its entire head protected by a heavy bony shield evolution has created the modern fish which is most instances has a very low ratio of bone to muscle it is fast and highly maneuverable and it claims the whole of the sea as its domain you can see in the picture the hemicyclespis it was a cambrian era fish with a solid bony head capsule the vertebral column or spine of a fish is the main supporting structure for the muscle that the fish uses to swim in its evolutionary journey it has gone from being the simple cartilaginous tube of the hag fishes through the more complex cartilaginous tube of other early jawless fish to partial ossification as in the red fish to the fully bony tube of modern sardine the individual bones of the spine meet at their round centers called centra and there is usually one vertebrae per body segment two flattened rows of bone arise from the upper side of the centrum they are separated where they arise but meet a little way above the centrum the space thus formed is known as neural arc collectively the neural arches of all the vertebrae form a tube that encloses and protects the spinal cord in most species of fish the combined bony rods rise up as a neural spine above the neural arc in some species of fish such as salmon and second pair of rod extend downwards creating a hemal arc that serve to protect various blood vessels unlike those of mammals and reptiles the vertebrae of fish are not linked together they are simply held in place by a series of tendons in fish both sides of centrum are concave and the space between is filled with a ball of cartilaginous substance that cartilaginous substance hold them a little apart allowing them to flex a bit but there is an exception to this rule however garfish have interlocking vertebrae much like those of reptiles In other words the center of the vertebrae are convex on the anterior or front face and concave on the posterior or behind face and allowing them to fit into each other 
the vertebrae that connect the skull to the spine are called the atlas and the axis as in all vertebrates in this picture we can see representative vertebrae from three fish and two sharks this shows the evolution of the vertebrae from sturgeon to angel shark the three fishes and two sharks include a sturgeon a cod and a salmon a white shark and an angel shark the sturgeon the salmon and the shark are seen front on transverse view while the cod is seen side on lateral view to show that the process and hence the spines they make up and are not necessarily vertical the sturgeon is an ancient fish and represent the ancestral stage in fact the vertebrae of sturgeon are not ossified and all the parts you see are in fact cartilage the arrow represents the direction of evolution the notochord is broken into sections some of which become the bones of the centrum and the rest becomes the cartilaginous balls that keep the bones from damaging each other the dorsal and ventral cartilages becomes ossified and are then called the dorsal and ventral processes in most fish the ventral processes of the caudal vertebrae caudal vertebrae means tail bones move closer together to form a hemal arc and in some species this hemal arc forms below the other vertebrae as well as in the salmon in sharks and rays you can see transitional stages whereby only part of each vertebrae is calcified these hardened or bony parts which are normally in the form of rings or turds are embedded in the matrix of ground material that is still cartilage let me discuss about the vertebrae of the trunk the vertebrae of the trunk is the main part of the body vertebrae of the trunk and skull support a number of additional sets of bones all of which may be present in varying degrees in different fish species extending sideways are the ribs which protect the visceral cavity visceral cavity is the space where the girths are present reaching up are a series of dorsal spines which may be but usually are not in actual contact with the vertebrae the pelvic and pectoral fins are supported by simple pelvic and pectoral girdles which are attached to the skull the dorsal fin or fins and the anal fin are supported by spines that may or may not be connected to the vertebrae the tail is supported by the caudal vertebrae the hyporales apurals and the urostyle the urostyle is a calcified unsegmented final portion of the old notochord in those sharks which have highly asymmetric caudal fins cartilaginous end of the vertebral column often extend into and sports the larger upper lobe the bones mentioned in the right picture extends only a small way or in the case of most dorsal and anal fins not at all into the fins themselves are instead spines or bristles 
of toughened cartilaginous material called fin rays reach out into the fins from the bones that remain encased by the flesh of the body movement of both the dorsal and anal fins either sideways or merely to raise and lower the fin is made possible by simple hinges at that point of attachment of the fin rail to the bone that support them this was all about the skeletal system of the fish the skeletal system is modified according to their uh, structure and according to their use of the bone Uh, because the fishes are of two types of cartilaginous bones and bony fishes so the cartilaginous are chondritic teeth and bony fishes are osteic teeth the structure of the bones depends on the movement of their of the fishes in the water and their living behavior and also define their fishes i hope you all have understand all these slides if you have any problem you can ask in questions thank you